service availability. The business is more dependent on IT in order to meet corporate goals, thus achieving expected availability is crucial. The relationship between IT and the business is more critical than ever and in order for the business to maintain its goals, services must be delivered to meet agreed upon service levels. 26. What is the recommendation with regard to the implementation of an emergency change? Where possible the change process should be followed. Correct. It is recommended that the change process should be followed where possible although any activities bypassed should be undertaken as soon as possible. Why are processes and procedures required for a service management system? To provide consistency in the output from activities. Service level management will review service performance, achievement of SLA targets, with the customer. One of the activities required for effective planning, coordination, and evaluation of requested changes is assessing the impact and required resources. Which process or function is responsible for this activity? A. Change management. Why is it important that reviews are conducted regularly during the check phase of the Plan Do Check Act PDCA, methodology? To determine whether the service management requirements are effectively implemented and maintained. Correct. This is part of the methodology in the check phase. What shall be done after a new or changed service has been implemented? A. A post-implementation review PIR, is held comparing actual outcomes against those planned. What is the reason behind managing service availability? The business is more dependent on IT in order to meet corporate goals, thus achieving expected availability is crucial. The relationship between IT and the business is more critical than ever and in order for the business to maintain its goals, services must be delivered to meet agreed upon service levels. 26. What is the recommendation with regard to the implementation of an emergency change? Where possible the change process should be followed. Correct. It is recommended that the change process should be followed where possible although any activities bypassed should be undertaken as soon as possible. Why are processes and procedures required for a service management system? To provide consistency in the output from activities. What would be a good reason for organizations to adopt ISO slash IEC 20000? To demonstrate alignment to customer requirements. What does the ACT phase of this methodology cover? Taking the necessary actions to continually improve. What must be included in the release and deployment management procedures according to ISO slash IEC 20000? Procedures to reverse an unsuccessful deployment. Where would an IT service for the customer be defined? In the service level agreement, SLA, D in the service report. Correct. The SLA would define the service for the customer. A power failure has knocked out the entire IT infrastructure. Fortunately, a service continuity plan is available. At what point should the service continuity plan be invoked? When the failure will likely extend beyond the targets defined in the service level agreement, SLA. Correct. The service continuity plan will be invoked if the targets as defined in the SLA cannot be met. Why is it important for service providers to maintain documents and records? To ensure effective planning, operation, and control of the service management system, SMS. Correct. Services, documents, and records are needed to ensure effective planning, operation and control of the SMS. 
Which activity is performed first after acceptance of an RFC? Determining the urgency of the change. Correct. The first step after the acceptance is to determine the urgency of the change. To restore services as quickly as possible as the intent of incident and service request management.